time with it. Downstairs is open. What did you turn it into? I was really curious. It's a sex cauldron. Of course it's a sex cauldron. What else what else did I expect other than a sex cauldron? I, I, you'd think there'd be more, but it's a sex cauldron. This, this, this is how we're starting the day, everybody. Is this the Endwalker bathhouse? Shut up and jump in. I ain't getting in there. That is just... This is just a herpes petri dish. That's all this is. It's nothing more than a herpes petri dish. Yeah, I, I am not going in there at all. Booba, this is where the respectables sit. Yeah, this is the respectable house. I like this. Uh, I don't have my... Oh, because I can't use the launcher, I don't have my chat bubbles on. Which is probably for the best. A full bathhouse. Well, remember, remember, this is the warm-up. We are going to be crashing Ishgard. Remember, the when that Ishgard housing place is open, that is going to be our next party. So I need you guys practicing because we are crashing the Ishgard housing area big time. All right, we'll have DJs, the whole thing. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. What the fuck? We played Fallout? We got pods going? Oh, we have a bar. Okay. Oh, is that from the near? I've never seen that one. That's from the near, Adam. Oh, Zoe's gone. F fully embraced it, have you, Zoe? <laughs> fully embraced it. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Saturday, though. Or Friday, or whenever it is coming now. Both, mayhaps. Hey, Crusher's coming. Get hype. Upstairs is still locked. Okay. Upstairs is still locked. All right, I'm going to the saucer. I need my catpot jackpot before Endwalker. Set me on the right path, game. That's all I want in my life. Is Lion coming? I don't know. I don't know if Lion's coming or not. I have no idea. I hope so. I hope to see as many of you as possible while I can. I just want to smash you all to pieces in the uh, VR escape room. It is two-player, though. Yeah, we can do an Air Force one. Sounds good. New glam? We will get a new glam. Let's see what the gear's like in Endwalker. And we'll start fishing out our new glam for then. You're going to be doing uh, Endwalker MSQ and covering the race wheel first at the same time? Yes. Yes. That is exactly what I'm doing. So I'll be streaming uh, I'll be streaming in the mornings and then I'll be casting in the afternoons. It's good, dudes, because I can expose all the WoW audience to uh, the glory. Oh god, my mouse sensitivity's wrong. Ah! Uh-oh. <laughs> my mouse sensitivity is definitely wrong. Okay, this is a 4980, unquestionably. Dude, there's nothing worse than bad mouse sensitivity. It's the worst. Get out of here. I have to focus on Air Force One. Otherwise, I'm gonna look like an idiot. Okay, slow and steady wins this race. Otherwise, I'm gonna screw it up. Uh, oh, if I move too fast. Oh God, this is awkward. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. We're gaming. Oh, God. We're fine. We're fine. Yeah, this is more... Oh, God, leaving the wheel to adjust my mouse sensitivity isn't working. Oh, I don't have the razor add-on installed. I got overconfident. Mouse sensitivity. Can I do it within Windows? I can, right? Mouse settings. Cursor speed. Down. Shh. 
There we go. There we go. Let's just go with that. Let's just go with that. All right, let's get our cack pot, and then we're off to Endwalker. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, the odds of Slice being next are ridiculously small. No. Wrong way. I try. I did try my best. That's the sad thing. I did try my best. I definitely remember how to play Black Mage. <laughs> I haven't played Black Mage in a while either. All right, come on. Okay. Not terrible. Fourth place is all right. The mount still eludes us. I promised we would get that mount before Endwalker. But that is not meant to be. That is not meant to be. Yeah, we were only a million off. So pretty close, all things considered. Pretty close. Just finish it before. See. Yeah, but that's what farmed. I'm, I don't want to farm. Right, mock check. I'm sad I won't be eating a hamburger with you. I, I know, I know, I know. I enjoy it. I, I know. I have, Emma told me about what's going on, Patrick. So I, I fully understand, dude. I fully understand. We got close. We got close. Consider I spent nearly a full mill on stuff. Alright, give me a win. Oh, this is a good start. Yes. Okay. Okay. Come on. Come on. Yeah, dude! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Come on, give me the 10. Give me the 10. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, dude. You're the worst. Right, give me my fashion report. Give me my fashion report. Give me a 72. Uh, wrong way. Give me a 72. I'm not bad, man. We will get a new glam. Yeah, let's see what the first few items then walk give us. So we can get a look-see. 72 to beat. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. Oh, it's closed already? Oh, it's Tuesday. It's not Monday. Oh, pisser. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Yeah, fucker. Can't do it. Uh, it's Tuesday. I'm thinking of it as Monday because we didn't stream yesterday. But oh well. Right, it's not uh it's not slice, right? Uh do this to restore your cooldowns. Oh shit, I am missing a bar. Slash res Slash hot bar. Are you trolling me now? Copy share hashtag four BLM four. Uh, that didn't work. Oh, I didn't put a hashtag in. Okay, okay. I see it. Hashtag four. Hot bar copy share requires a valid hot bar number. Uh, I can just copy and paste that. That should have worked. Yeah, it didn't work. Copy paste it. I need help. How do you copy and paste someone's text message? Do I need an add-on for that, or what? 
Do you alt click it or shift click it or something? Drag select. Ah! Perfect. Hey! Clap, clap. Clap, clap. Super. Thank you. I didn't even notice they were missing. Uh, that would have been bad. <laughs> I didn't even notice they were gone, but it's fine. It's because I'm on a 1080p screen, bro. I've got back its leap of faith. Absolutely not. And Walker, here we come. All right. Let's get the mail. I do know control, so you don't have to select the message. 1080p feels so bad. 1080p current year, yeah. You should play Blue Mage for a bit, just to see how utterly broken it is. I mean, yeah, okay, I've just put Endwalker on standby. That's no problem. I don't think anybody would mind. All right, here we go. Fun Daniel? Can I remember everybody's voice? Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to get the voices back. It's been a while. It's been a hot minute. Hit me with that jazz. Let's go, good dudes. That smooth jazz indicates it's Endwalker time. Lyra, Nagy, Testicle, Freak Sauce, Pansy Baggins, and Haley. Thank you all for the resubs, my friends. Here we go. Oh, everyone's here. Nice. The next ship to sail. Wait, 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 wait. Egg check. We might not cap otherwise. Floor, do you have some time to talk? Uh huh. I would like to gather everyone in Dawn's respite to together assess the situation in which we find ourselves. We need a table, dude. We have a table. Let's take stock of the facts, shall we? The crisis at hand began through the sudden appearance of ominous towers in a multitude of locations throughout the world. We have since learned that said structures were brought to be by an organization known as the Telophoroi. The Telophoroi's stated purpose is to recreate the final days of Eon's past, an apocalyptic event that would result in the destruction of all we hold dear. Already have these towers of theirs been the cause of untold suffering. Countless innocents kidnapped and imprisoned, their faith perverted for primal summonings. And unless we can find a way to deal with the corruptive aura surrounding the spires, we can't even get close enough to rescue anyone. No shielded with the blessing of light seem able to resist the tempered at least. Oh of course! Oh god, I just thought about Fardola and our boy in the wheelchair. F. The real Endwalker. It's after what happened to Arnvald and Fordola. We need to be very, very careful how we proceed. Yeah, while these threats close to home are a paramount concern, we mustn't lose sight of the situation in Garlemald. As you know, the Telophori are under the leadership of Fan Daniel and one other delightful fellow, Xenos Ye Galvis. The crown prince of our dear friend. To date, he's reclaimed his old body, murdered Emperor Varys, and plunged Garlemald into an even deeper pit of chaos. The capital has probably seen the worst of it. For a good while there, it saw the bloodiest fighting in the War of Succession, and that has since changed, and in troubling ways. Aye. During our reconnaissance, the air was not once rent by the barking of cannons or the cries of discord. It was an eerie fog of silence which did blanket that ruined city. The inhabitants appeared to have been tempered, and with nary a word spoken did they labor to transform the palace into a soaring edifice born of nightmares. So all of Garlemald is pretty much tempered? Pretty, uh, almost? Hmm. <coughs> hmm. If they were indeed made thralls, it seems safe to assume that these events, too, were orchestrated by the Telophori. An army of primals is awful enough, but in light of recent developments, 
I fear it's only the prelude to an even greater catastrophe. Nice one, Ish. <laughs> it's gonna get way worse, by the way. Classic Ish. This is nothing. We need to devise a means to counter this threat, and quickly before our allies are overwhelmed. We will find a way in Charlian. I'm sure of it. Oh, we're going to Charlian! Yes! Master Forshno's comments regarding the final days were curious, to say the least. The forum knows more than it's letting on. Sorry to interrupt! <laughs> I just received word from Mistress Kryle. She says the arrangements for your visit have been finalized. You'll take to lips, board the next ship bound for Charlian. And on arrival, present yourselves as associates and the students of Baldessian. Come to assist with the Order's restoration. The arrangements may be settled, but what of your thoughts? They must race at the prospect of returning home after so long. Yeah, Alpha, no, not Levier. I am eager to see it, of course. Of course. We should set off at once. Right then! I'll take you to the dogs and have a smoke. You need at least one person there to wave and cry and have a pint on your journey. A toast, my friends! We're going straight to Charlian? Awesome. Yeah, the music is so hype. It's a Limsa. Let's go home. The land I called home. ERP, yeah, well, I get waylaid by the ERPers on the way. Uh, can we go... Where are you, Tatsuru? Are you up on the sky thing? Arcanist Guild. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the servers were down. It was FF14 maintenance. So we have just died. You're not missed the thing. Oh, pretty. <laughs> hey, everyone. <laughs> Everyone's here, which is good. Because I've already paid for the tickets. And the fee is non-refundable. The ship for Charlie should be pulling into port soon. Follow me. I'll have your luggage nearby. Yeah, I'm not a sprout anymore, man. No sprouters. Everyone looks like they're going on the holidays, man. Yeah, you lose the sprite icon when you finish Shadowbringers. Are you voice acted? Mayhaps. They've almost finished loading our cargo. We should be ready to depart right on schedule. Or so I'm told. Excellent. It is nice to have a smooth beginning to one's journey, at the very least. It's funny. Master Louis Soir came here on a ship very much like this one. And now, years later, the street urchin he befriended that day is bound for his mentor's homeland. With his mentor's grandchildren, no less. Disowned, remember? Aye. It is upon reflection that every twist of time's river and fate's whims are brought into sharp relief. Thou hast matured much in the intervening years. Wert thou not caught attempting to relieve Master Louis Soir of his purse scant moments after he made landfall upon this dock? Oh, 
Oh, really? Now that's a tale I'd like to hear. Will this be your first visit to Charlie and Sir Estinian? So moody. Sir <laughs> Are we strangers about newly met? Why the darkness. this stiff formality? I uh, merely meant it as a professional courtesy. Don't say he's called Tommy or something. Call sense. me Tommy. I'd rather you dispense with the sirs, especially in private company. Or I'll be forced to respond in kind, little Lord Alphano. <laughs> You've made your point, Estinian. Painfully well. <laughs> Better. <laughs> He's fucking trolling. Are you all right, Tataru? You seem positively distraught. Distraught? Me? Don't be silly. I think it's lovely that they get to see their Oh, she's man. sad. Sad Tataru. It's just... Oh. We're trying to thwart the schemes of an army hell-bent on destroying the world. Again. And once again, I have to stay behind and worry that this is the last time I'll get to see my friends. Come with us. Hold you to that. Ah, oh, good. You're still here. Harry Boulder! Hori! Coltine! What brings you all this way? We're to assist the Maelstrom and the Cobbles with a lunar primal operation. So we thought we'd see you off before heading to the tower. They should have brought For the two ladies. And the others wish you all a safe journey and promise that they'll look after things here until you return. We will too, of course. Aye, we, your fellow signs of the seventh dawn, will do our part to ensure the end of the world won't happen on our watch. Oh, B team. You're a scion, you are. Sure, you, you are. Sail. All aboard for Charlian. Get him a little scion badge. It's time. Then we must delay no longer. We will contact you the moment we learn aught of value. Wish us luck. Have a safe journey, and please, please be careful. This is ominous. I'm getting Shadowbringers vibes. This is really ominous. Usually they don't give a shit about the send-off. I don't like it. Are they gonna kill Tataru? And so you venture forth unto the unknown. A fate beyond the horizon that cannot be divined. A future undefined and in flux. In uncertain times, naught but the simplest words of wisdom will suffice. Is that Emmett Selk? That which lives is destined to die. Love leads to loss. Every beginning has an end. Treasure every moment, every step of your descent. Why? Oh no. Rapture? 
And there, in the depths where souls and stars rest, find your truth. Is there some still a part of him in Omera? Not elegance. Tune. Here. Feel. The day has barely dawned, my fellow earlier riser. Though we're hardly alone in that. Envious of those still sleeping soundly, no doubt. I'm gonna have bad necks. Called out to you, you say? Hmm. I've heard nothing myself. In any case, I dare say the sea air will do you good. Why not join the others on deck? Charlian should be coming into view at any moment. This is such a distinct difference than the start of Shadowbringers. This is really ominous. Like, Shadowbringers threw you into hell straight away. This feels like we're walking into the bit below hell to the cold dark and I'd rather be in the fire if I'm being honest. Mommy? My voice yet reaches you. I am glad. Hear. Feel. Think. Why are you not showing us the face? Oh? And thus do we meet face to face at last. Hello. My warrior of light, guided by the crystal. Please don't boober, mommy. I beg of you, chat. Why now, Heidelin? I can trust your words no longer. Why now? After your sojourn in the first, I believe you have your answer. I like a little Asian style mask. You have gained an understanding of what I truly am. What Eidolon has always been. A primal. Zodiac was created to forestall the apocalypse which threatened the ancient world. And I was brought forth to bind him. True, true. Yet seven times now, those who would orchestrate a return to that bygone era have rejoined a shard to the god I had sundered. The greater his strength grows, the swifter does mine own diminish. The power to draw your mind into the rift betwixt is no longer mine to wield. Okay. This music's making me want to cry Yet already. Though it taxes me sorely, I dare not leave these words unsaid.
Even bereft of my guidance, you and your companions have accepted the burden of this star's troubled past. A conjunction has begun to form, an intertwining of your time and mine. Wheels shudder and turn. Conflict looms. Monumental. Which will decide the fate of this world and all life upon it. When you truly understand what is at stake, and your journey has prepared you to surmount the insurmountable, then shall I honor the promise made in another time, another age. Cast your peepers to the fore, folks. Charlians, just over yonder. <laughs> One sec, Adlin. I need to get the view. <clears throat> I will not keep you further. Your traveler's heart must yearn to behold this unfamiliar land. We shall meet again, and soon. So we've actually given a farm to Hydland now. A promise made. Fulfill the promise. Oh, what a fine morning. Oh, still a bit stiff, though. And a good morning to you, too. Taking a look at the island already? No. Then let's go. Let's go! Might Should we still not be say something? Hydloom is here. <laughs> ah, the sleepers have arisen. <sighs> there she is. <laughs> Good old Charlian. Oh, I see it. Home. Home at last. Well, maybe not in father's eyes. But we'll manage on our own. If we must. I hope we get a really cool scene of Yish ripping the fucking... You do know... The council apart. You're not alone in this, don't you? Yeah. Indeed. Tis as Sir Estinian said. Forget not the comrades who boarded this ship at your side. I pray thee. Thank you, my friends. We are ever grateful for your steadfast support. Upon arrival, we will be disembarking into the heart of Charlian proper. There is no greater concentration of wisdom in all the world. I am confident that somewhere within that center of knowledge and learning, we will find the answers we seek. Ah, uh, hmm. Is it gonna be a dirtier secret than, uh... Ishgard. Wherever there's money, there's dirty secrets. Money and power, baby. Well, my theory at the end of Shadowbringers, it's kind of coming back to me a little bit now, but my theory was that Charlian does know how the world ends. And they've known for a long time. There was a certain amount of overconfidence in Papa... Papa Levier is to like, this is not how this ends. Like, they know. They, know, they, they may even know, like, the date. Charlian, the solitary island nation of the Northern Seas. We came. 
where under the watchful gaze of Thaliac, patron deity of scholars, academics hoard all manner of knowledge and secrets. He's laughing. Once, they deigned to accept foreign students into a distant colony maintained in the Dravanian hinterlands. How swiftly they abandoned it once the first Garlean boot set hostile foot on Alamegan soil. So averse to the prosecution of war, these men of wisdom, your would-be allies. He's a sarky git, isn't he? Your would-be allies. Your would-be allies. I thought they'd never let us off the ship. What's next then? Entry applications? <laughs> We've Hopefully got to collect some sheep no or something. To deny us. We have to earn some rap, dude. Hasn't Charlie and Orbit severed relations with foreign powers? Those of us without direct ties, myself included, may be refused outright. Tis true that, as a nation, Charlian only forms trade agreements with a select few neutral countries. But from a practical standpoint, an island cannot afford to be overly strict with its borders. Especially not if that island's people are wholly devoted to the accumulation of knowledge. If one submits the proper paperwork, with satisfactory evidence of identity and intent, then foreigners may be granted entry. <laughs> We've really got to go through passport control? May. I've just done this, like, four times in the last two weeks. Quite. <clears throat> so let us be absolutely clear on these points before we proceed. Have we got our COVID fucking proof on our phones? The immigration officer will ask for your affiliation and your purpose of visit. Considering Charlian's views on intervention, I strongly suggest we avoid any mention of the Scions. <laughs> Is this going to be a test? Kral has laid the groundwork for us to act as associates of the students of Baldessian. And our ostensible reason for being here is to aid in their order's restoration. Grahatia, it might expedite our progress should an actual student be seen at the head of our little group. Would you mind leading the way? Of course. The immigration offices were this way, as I recall. Shall we? Sure. Is this gonna be an actual test? Wonder if I can fail it. And then somebody has to put a rubber glove up my ass. Oh fuck, it's a Lalafell. <laughs> Ruined. Greetings. We've just arrived and are eager to make our way into the city. Would you be so kind as to process our entry applications? Certainly. I see by your mark you are an Archon. I am. Grahat here of the students of Baldassian at your service. Should tell you a crystal to an Aeorian crystal art, survey dude. team, but have returned to assist with the reformation of my order. My associates here will provide additional support. Oh. Uh oh. Very good. Madafel. I have paperwork detailing your group and its scheduled arrival for today. Okay, she's fine, she's fine. And it seems some few of your companions are also Archons. If you'll step forward, we can process those applications first. Ishtola rule. Floor inspector. Are we gonna do them all? See how it glows. That list is etherically linked with a citizen registry kept in the main repository. I've confirmed your status as Archons and amended your travel records accordingly. Welcome home. Bullshit! Customs never this quick. Now, who do we have here? Uh, <laughs> are they gonna get rumbled? Disowned, baby. Alphano Leveilleur. Nope. 
and Alizé Levia. Nope. Your applications have also been approved. Having said that... The streets are abuzz with talk of how House Leveilleur's lord disowned his young progeny. Oh, sad, sad. And while such personal circumstances constitute no reason to deny you entry, I urge you to avoid exacerbating your present situation. Times are quite troubled enough already. We shall keep that in mind. These last two are not Charlian natives, but you will find their credentials are in order. An application was made in advance. Hmm. Name and occupation? Floor Inspector, kicker of ass. Champion of Eorzea. Uh, I am a artisan. I have zero crafting. Trust. Indeed. Your profile describes you as an adventurer, but one also trained in the rather more constructive pursuits of procurement and production. You may enter. I pass. And you, sir? My name is Astinian, bringer of death. Arno, formerly of the Order of the Knights Dragoon in Ishgard. Formerly, at least. And what, pray tell, is your profession now? Vengeance! Kryle! If you'll allow me... Kryle Hype! I know those little legs anywhere. My associate is a mercenary, hired for his strength at arms. Surely you are aware of the dangers we often face on our forays into the wilderness. Mistress Baldessian, if you insist on sponsoring his entry, then so be it. But while I appreciate that desperate times call for desperate measures, I find your choice of company concerning. Be advised that even a single misstep may have severe repercussions for your organization. I have every confidence in my chosen company, dear and trusted comrades that they are. But I thank you for your concern. Royal, it is good to see you. Likewise, long voyage notwithstanding, you will seem none the worse for wear. There is much to discuss, but this is hardly the place. Let's be on our way, shall we? I haven't logged to my tier list in a while. I don't know if Chris could Discord at me, because it's on oh. my uh, <laughs> office PC. It's on the desktop, I think. Welcome, friends, to Charlian. Ah, oh, you! Look at you! As you made a stiff smile. I should hope my welcome includes a generous salary. <laughs> well, I had to say something, Sir Taciturn. Kryle is still in the S tier category. <laughs> Fuck off, as. Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Scared me to death? You actually came here? What? <laughs> oh, I didn't think we could do one for Endwalker. What's up, team? I am 
also here. For no reason. I come from the darkness. To read this world, the Endwalker. With a bunch of chickens. Ah, oh, thanks everybody! <laughs> Is that lion? Yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, you sat on someone's face. Yeah, of course you are. We are here. Our final. Well, it's not our final, but at least for now, our final little journey. With new mods, welcome. Indeed, the welcome. Indeed. Let's get going, team. Let's get going. Wonderful, awesome people. I'm glad I've spotted your ship coming into port. The officers are born bureaucrats and sticklers for detail. In any case, you may relax and take a moment to get your land legs back. Alright. New mark? New weapon. Unlucky. Welcome to Endwalker. It is. It is time. That was a really interesting introduction to Endwalker, guys. I had thought the Lodge Direct leads to an explanation of what I've learned and how we might proceed. But this is Florin Astinian's first time in Charlian, and for the rest of you, a homecoming was long overdue. You must have places you wish to visit and people you're dying to see, therefore I propose we postpone our agenda so you'll have all have sufficient time to recover from your journey and get your bearings in the city. Once you've settled in, we can reconvene at the Baldesian Annex. How does that sound? This is a fine suggestion. We may not be welcome at the Levier Estate as such, but I should like to know it's around the neighbourhood all the same. Their mother's still here, right? I am equally untethered, as it were. There's no particular place that my kin call home. Still, I would not pass up the opportunity to reacquaint myself with the city. Likewise. A quick tour of our old haunts might even yield some useful gossip. The annex was west of the Aetherite Plaza, wasn't it? I shall join you there or not. Yes, we'll see you there. I'll sniff a clean dick. I'm fine with it. Chris! I've disabled bits! Why is that happening? I've literally disabled them. I too have places I would be remiss if not forthwith. By thy leave. What's of you, Estinian? My services as a guide are yours for the asking. That won't be necessary. Until we reconvene, I prefer to wander as the wind takes me, searching hither and thither for darkness. I'll sniff a clean dick. I'm fine with it. But, but I could... Oh. Well, Raha, would you like to join us then? You've been gone for quite a while, and this would be perfect way to refresh those dusty old memories of yours. Fix it, Chris. Of course, if you'll have me. Come, Floor. Charlene awaits. Oh my god! Agatha, thank you so much for the 10 subs, brother! Thank you! Thank you so much, man. That is awesome. Enjoy those emos, everybody. Lurker Squad represent. Thanks, man. After you, my friend. I am more than content to follow your lead. Half a year passed by quick. What the fuck? Can't wait to go on this journey again watching you preach heart. Chris! <laughs> ah! 
Eggnar, thank you very much. Dennis, thank you so much. Jerry, Kyotis, thank you very much. Bamboo. I've worked, it worked, it got disabled. Disable these nuts. Ah, busted. Sabumi, thank you so much for the prime, man. Thank you all. Thank you for um, being here while I'm over in Hamburg. Thank you all, dudes. Keep him at your side in order to proceed with the uh, escort quest. You can leave Grahatia behind by entering a different area using Ethernet or by putting too much distance between you two. You can also speak with Grahatia and select the option to part ways. If you wish to have Grahatia accompany you again, return and speak with him at the original location. While Grahatia is accompanying you, next try speaking with Kryl. Okay. Zephyr Whisperings! Oh my god, it's full on Dimmy! It's Salada? Jesus Christ, thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. All set. Then let us be on our way. Our first stop, amusingly enough, will be the last stand. It's a cafe of the west side of the harbour. Kryle is now also accompanying you. Lead your two companions to the last stand and speak with Kryle at the designated location. Okay. While you are accompanied, you may encounter conversation points along the way which offer additional topics of con discussion. Enter the glowing area and speak with uh, your quest companions to initiate these bonus conversations. Enjoy exploring your surroundings together. Wow! Farmer! I could hug you, would I would? Thank you. Bass, Bass Aquid. Thank you very much as well. Thank you so much, Farmer. That's huge, dude. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, I gotta test the system. A level 5 hype train. Oh, look! Bonus stuff. Thank you all. Idea is good. I don't mind. I want to drink in Charlene. See a wild Zoe doing her shopping. All the unusual wares coming and going at all hours. I expected the assistance of an intrepid adventurer would be highly appreciated. I see no reason why you couldn't undertake any tasks which pique your interest. You have been cleared by the immigration officials, after all. I look forward to the day your name is celebrated in Charlie in the same way it is in Eorzea. This place is called the Peristyle. It is your first stop for cargo unloaded at the docks. You'll find the usual necessities for daily living and other imports vital to running an island nation, but also supplies that further Charlie's pursuit of knowledge. Namely, large quantities of books, specimens, samples. Sortedly stacked certainly seems to keep the attendants busy. Cool. Is that, um... I assume that is the bonus conversation. Jarvid, thank you for the 10 as well. Bomber again? What? Work is work. Oh my god. Wonder boy. Thank you all. Okay, Yappers, thanks guys. I kind of like this system as well. I'm getting, I'm getting overwhelmed. Stop it. Let's, let's keep going. Can I sort of do a run with them? Yes, I can. Okay, excellent. The giant statue. Oh, I missed it. As a student of Baldessian, I was usually quartered on the Isle of Val. But I would gaze upon the scholar's wise features every time I returned by ship to the city. The path leading out towards the sea is known as the Thaliac Stoa, so named for the statue of the scholar which stands at its end. As you know, the Charlian people prize the accumulation of wisdom above all else. Thus, when Thaliac was chosen as our patron deity, it was more a matter of pragmatism than belief, an alignment of principles, as it were. We may have honoured him with a rather impressive sculpture, yes, but our faith is not so restricted of that, say, the Ashgardians. Individual Charlians can and do worship the divinities of their choosing. Cool. It is beautiful. What in the fuck, man? Gumsy, Malkinsian, LB, Athalus, Void Switch, Garrett, all of you. Unreal. Thank you. Thank you all. For me and the team. Utterly incredible. Thank you. Let's get a pint, shall we? And here we are at the last stand. I may have mentioned this before, but although our research into nutrition and food preparation is quite extensive, the average Charlian tends to regard seasoning and flavour with a certain indifference. Uh, how, 
can I put this? The food is, um, it's bland. As encapsulated by an infamous Archon Loaf, the prevailing sentiment towards cuisine is dietary value first and taste a distant second. There was one pupil at the studium, however, who could stomach the school's insipid meals no longer, so he quit his lessons and poured all his savings into building a proper eatery. And so the last stand came to be. It is, as the name implies, the sole dedicated outpost of fine dining in Charlian, the one and only bastion of the culinary arts in the Isle of otherwise mediocre fare. I seem to recall their burger being hailed as one of the more impressive items on the menu. Not that I ever had the pleasure of eating one myself. Because you were a typical Charlian when it came to cheap and convenient, Raha. But surely Tataroos has taught you how to appreciate a well-prepared dish. We should all stop in when time permits and sample the cafe's delights. Quality burger. Shall we press on? The stairs to the side of the cafe will take us up to the Etherite Plaza. A quality burger? What is happening? I can't even read the names. It's unreal. Baka, Mika. The generosity, guys, is overwhelming. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you, every single last one of you. Farmer again. Jackie <laughs> and Norster. Wow. We are end walking, aren't we? We are end walking. Thank you, everybody. Those of you who got gifted, make sure you join in. It's uh, the best way of showing that. Let's tag it. Okay, you turn it into a fight now. <laughs> Boy, uh, thank you very much. <sighs> An unusual shape, isn't it? It looks like a hearthstone. Uh, where's the Dodgers at? We got Dodgers for days again. Roger Dodgers. Where's my Dodgers at? And how? How is it even remotely possible you're dodging? Jesus Christ, the Dodgers. I swear to God, my rain team would be made of... Jesus fucking thousands of you. Oh my God. You guys have skills beyond any other in your dodging. You are unreal. Your dodging is something else. Absolutely unreal. I've got to talk about WoW later. <laughs> You're going to set me up for a fall? <laughs> Can't hit me. <laughs> Just soak it, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I assure you, however, that it's a perfectly functioning etherite. Remember to attune yourself. I have. Now, being the diligent tour guide that I am, I should make mention of the confluence. Oh! A research facility located on this very plaza. Its much vaunted discoveries are the reason Charlene stands at the forefront of teleportation technology. In deciphering the underlying principles of elegant etherites, it allowed us to understand and reconstruct what was essentially a lost art. Mistinian, and off we go to our next destination. Our path leads northeast to the Agora, Charlene's largest marketplace. This is, reminds me of the Burning Crusade. Oh, what's this one over here? It's still going? I can't thank you enough. It starts to sound fake, but it's really not. You guys are incredible. Such a pleasure. Especially with all the disruption of traveling so much recently. Thank you all, man. Speaking of etherites, those teleportation fees add up very after a while. Which is why I tend to rely on the far cheaper ferry services. I was pleasantly surprised when Mistress Tataru informed me that the Scions are reimbursed for travel. What?! Where do I claim back all my etherite travel? But I find old habits hard to break. Where do I get that back? Where do I put my receipts? Right? Where do I put my receipts? Quest rewards? I mean, they don't come from Tataru. It's still going. No subs, there'll be no dodges left at the end of this. Crazy. Crazy. 
That, and I'd rather not be bothered filling out the necessary paperwork. Check Discord, says Chris. Oh, God. Is it going to be bad? Did I do, do I do a fuck up? Should be able to re-enable alerts. <laughs> After this ridiculous wave, I'm not risking backing us up into that. After this madness, after the madness. That's the entrance to the confluence. I have no doubt that expertise will prove useful at some point. So I suggest you remember the way here. Well, thank you very much, Chris. Okay, there's definitely darkness inside there. There's some sort of darkness and horror. I mean, this place looks happy. It's a place of learning, a place of good things. Right? Welcome to Agora, where you can find wares made in Charlene, as well as a wide selection of imported goods. They also used to sell questionable prototypes from the various research institutes that I... But I think that practice has thankfully died out for the most part. Otherwise, you can think of no better place to stock up for your next big adventure. Am I overselling it? <laughs> On a more serious note, the next stop at our tour is one which has particular relevance to our ultimate purpose here. We must head back to the Etherite Plaza, follow the path north and climb up the stairs, it's that imposing building at the very top. Okay. Am I walking past mini etherites? I don't think so. Good. No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Right, everyone's looking at me like a madman through the window. <laughs> 50. I can't even take it in. Raven. Really, Raven with 50? Wow, man. Drowzo, thank you for the 20. I can't wait to see you on Saturday, Raven. Can't wait, man. Thank you so much. I'll buy, I'll buy you a beer. PvP me in laser tag? I will. I will. I will PvP you in the laser tag. For sure. As long as you join me for an escape room, uh, escape room play. The water features? These little decorative features are typical of Charlene architecture. Aside from the research wing, our headquarters on the Isle of Val were rather simple and rustic by comparison. This is the Nymphos... Nymphaeum? Nymphium? An area dedicated to the blessing of water. For Charlie's water represents more than life-sustaining liquid. It is a reminder of the great flood which precipitated the birth of our nation, as well as a symbol of the knowledge which flows from Thaliac's divine newer. This is the reason you see an abundance of fountains throughout the city, a propensity for utilizing water as a decorative feature in our architecture. Sweet. This music is fantastic! So good! It's just, it's grand, but it's not obnoxious. It's not epic. It's just really solid. It's a shame it's uh, the old foggy. Whoa, this place is actually huge. I'll leave the weather on for now. Hey, Jakey. The grand structure before you is the Rostra. The name refers to the original public platform erected here upon which a forum of elected representatives would deliver orient orations and debate policy. Like Omera? Although the stage has since evolved into council chambers, the nature of the forum and the duties of its members remain largely unchanged. Am I boring you, Raha? You seem rather distracted. My apologies. From here, one can see the entire city spread out below. The vista put me in mind of my arrival in the first. Those who had gathered at the Crystal Tower asked me how they might go about building a new home. 
Naturally, my answers were all inspired by my knowledge of the finest settlement I could think of. The great city of Charlian. And bit by bit, those few buildings grew into a town. A community, the Crystarium. I can almost see its echo. I see. Feel free to come up here whenever you wish. I don't think the councillors would object to you simply enjoying the view. Such memories should be treasured. For now, however, the tour must go on. Our spectacle of sightseeing concludes with the fittingly named Journey's End. Walk down the stairs to the east and continue straight ahead. Okay. Offwards we go, team. Graha is a really interesting character because he's got that young body, but he's got so much wisdom under his belt. He's still a rookie, though. He's a rookie scion. I still have him cleaning out my desk and whatnot. He's best boy. <laughs> he's not a puppy. He's a scion. Bit of respect, everybody. Waladu, Resil. Iron fan, Windy, every single one of you during that ridiculous hype train. And Mr. Linkfi, thank you all. I just want to thank you. That's, that means a lot, man. Thank you. We've arrived at Journey's End. History tells us that there were those who put ashore with Archon Nuni built their first homes. In the present day, it serves as the residential district for the most important officials and the oldest Charlian families. You'll see that one mansion is clearly larger than its neighbours. That estate belongs to our friends from House Levio. All things considered, we should probably keep our distance for the time being. And with that, we bring our little Charlie and tour to a close. I hope it has proven to be an entertaining and enlightening experience. But shall we head directly for the Baldezine Annex? You remember the way, don't you, Raha? <sighs> Let me think. We head down towards the harbour, across the bridge to our right, then follow the path below the etherite. Wrong, dickhead! Ha! You follow the red fucking arrow, stupid. Shit you, mate. Correct. After you, Floor. This is House Levier, is it? La di da. La di da. When you don't exactly realize just how wealthy the Levier family is. And I assume it's just him and uh, him and mum that live here, right? Oh, we're going in here at some point, aren't we? Oh, opens? Oh, hello. I already hate the Levio family. You have to stand there all day in case somebody walks through the door unannounced. Quite, madam. This is the estate of House Levio. If you do not have an appointment, I'm afraid I must ask you to leave. Fuck you. Out of the way, Boche face. Investigation? Where's mama? Any mama? Woohoo, mommy! You can see it from the boat? Yeah, I'm not even surprised. Oh, they've been and got burgers. Gamers. People walking past me with burgers. It is my honor and pleasure both to serve Lady M Alliance. There is no more beautiful, more kind-hearted person in the realm. And I am happy to attend to her every need. Thanks. Where's the bathroom? Oh my god. What's up, bro? Right? I've got to be honest, the idea of living somewhere like this with, like, stuff like this actually makes me want to vom hardcore. Ooh! No chairs? No hot tub? Oh, what's that tower? Ubisoft? Ubisoft? Oh, it's just a lamp. Okay. Can we mount? No. 
No Maui. All right. I'm not getting any sense of that seedy underbelly. Let's talk to the locals real quick. Uh, all right. My mother never mother told me never to talk to strangers, so I'm ignoring you. See. My friends and I gather here from time to time to discuss what we've been reading recently. This truly helped us broaden our intellectual horizons. Today we're discussing every Pokemon. What do you think number 484 was? You'll never guess. <laughs> Fucking geek. Get out of the way. It is, it's a full nerd city. Where's the net cafe? They're about to have the sickest land in Charlian. Right? There's no way all these nerds don't have the sickest land parties. It's Palkia. No way did you know that. You googled that shit. There is no fucking way. <laughs> you totally googled it. <laughs> Absolute Googlers. Do you see that stylish, shiny new house there? It's mine! <laughs> I'd say I was looking to stack the plot for it, but no, I really do deserve it. Meta? Would you have Charlian housing? I mean, the Ishgardian one's probably going to look a bit similar to this. Information's everything. That's why I'm here chatting with anyone I can find. Did you think I was slacking? Yeah, no. Give PRP. You'd love it. Would you have it here? Would you have your house if you could? Oh, can't break into a house. Oh, hold on, I'm needed. One sec, dudes. There's somebody signaling to me.
Right. Look at that. There's a lot of stress here. There's a lot of stress that the show's not going to work. I'm like... <sighs> Give me a camera and a mic and somebody's gameplay and I'm good. I'm golden. Give me a camera and a mic and someone's gameplay and we're absolutely rock solid. No worries. Journey's end. Right. We crossed this bridge here, as I recall. Stick to the path and be careful not to end up back in the Etherite Plaza. Charlie is full of educational and research institutions. But there are still professors who prefer to establish their own private practices. Not that I ever attended the exclusive schools they run in these residences. Perhaps the twins could tell you more about them. Ooh, exclusive schools within schools. Of course. Of course. You have a camera, you might you can make your own gameplay. I could literally I could do I could do some coverage from here, man. Now I see the wealth of love your family. Do you understand why Alpha is such a title bright in a realm reborn? Uh, I do. I, I mean, I understood it there and then. I mean, it, was no, it wasn't hard to uh, to pick up on that, that's all. I'm surprised he was still so uh, grimaced about buying that sword, remember? The Tatteru. joyous look on Raha's face is undoubtedly inform you. This is the Baldesian Annex. If you continue on the hill, you'll arrive at the doorstep of Phenomenon. But I think we've explored enough for one day. No, I, don't tell me something really intriguing and then be like, well, that's the good way. We can take you there another time. No way, dude. <laughs> it's called Phenomenon. It's called the Void Crystal. Inside with you then. <sighs> You just shadow bringers me hardcore. I'm back, but I brought Flora and Raha with me. I see. You're right about the ship then. Hello, Graha. It's nice to see you again. And it's a pleasure to finally meet you, Flor. I've heard many a tale of your exploits. Ajika! Ajika! Sajika! 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 It's been an age. Allow me to introduce OJ, Administration Officer for the Students of Baldessian. He oversees the day to day business of the Annex. You may recall meeting his cousin, EJ. Oh, Eureka! Yeah! Yeah! Eureka was really good. Uh, yes, Eureka. I've read the initial reports. Quite a shock to hear what's become of the Isle. Do you take care if you have the opportunity to rejoin the expedition? I will. I promise you, OJ. I'll be there. This place is like a second home for the students. The Isle of Val served as our main headquarters, of course. But we often had occasions to visit Charlian. They knew I was a skipper. <laughs> I'm a skipper. I got called out for being a skipper straight away. Whether to make use of the city's research facilities, attend conferences, or procure supplies from distant shores. And the annex here was built to provide lodgings for our members while we engaged in such activities. Ever since our former headquarters, along with the isle itself, vanished. The annex Are we going to get more detail on that? The annex has served as our base of operations. And yet it feels so empty. And so many lost to us, our organization is a shell of its former self. Oh, that's Eureka? Fuck. <laughs> well, piss on me, I guess. <laughs> piss on me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you didn't bother to do Eureka, Mike. Let's talk about Bosia. I know all about Bosia. The day will come when we'll see the students rise again. But first, we must ensure the Telephoroi fall. Through the door to the left, there is a main hall. We can discuss our options moving forward. Once everyone arrives, that is. You probably have time to rest before our discussions begin in earnest. Off to bed. Oh, so I'm getting lodgings here. I'm going to stay in, the, I'm going to stay in student halls. Pass. 
Pass. I've had private quarters prepared for you in the Andron, so please feel free to make yourself at home. Ah, the nap rooms. Perfect for an afternoon doze. Oh, I didn't mean to give you the wrong impression. The chambers are quite well appointed. Far more than some cheap roadside inn, you may be assured. It was simply that we were often so busy with research or exhausted from journeys abroad that we would slip into the Andron just to steal a few winks. And thus they became known among the students as nap rooms, even if many such naps might last well into the following morning. Fucking students, man, sleeping during the day. Say the word and I'll be happy to show you into the chamber. Hopefully the others won't be too long in coming. I'll wait for you all in the main hall. Dude, I slept all the time during the day when I was a student. I've got two hours between lectures. Time to crush a nap, me! Supposed to go sit in the library. <laughs> Dude, like, Ander! Ander, are you coming on Saturday or what? Because Alex wants to see you, and we're in Germany, and you are German. That's one plus one plus one plus one equals victory. Ander, I'm sending you a message now in case you're not here. Where are you, Ander? And, uh, fly me down. Oh, okay. Well, check it, Vapis. It might only be like 30 quid or something. It cost me 50 quid. The flight here for me was 50 quid. So check. I'm in Germany, yes. I'm in Hamburg right now. It was £53 for me to fly here. You get those prices here in Australia? <laughs> Probably not, man. Probably not. What, in Germany? I am covering the race to world first uh, with Echo, the WoW race to world first. So it's going to be good. Going to be a lot of shows I'm doing. 300 from Northern Sweden? It's so weird. It's going to be an hour to get here. I, w I should fly you out. Okay, sure. Uh, anybody else want a plane ticket? Any, any issues? <laughs> anybody else? Yes, as you can see, I am enjoying my Fritz Limo. Hmm. It's, uh, it's juicy. Fritz Limo. Recommend it. Get me out there. Get me out there. It was literally 50 quid to get here, and this, this place I'm in is... 40 euros a night, I think. Not too bad, all things considered. Oh, there's no FOMO. We'll, we'll see you later in the year if you can't come. Hmm, Fritz Limo. <laughs> Refreshing. Feeling refreshed and alert. Our colleagues should be wandering in soon, so I suggest we, fight, we stay here and wait for them to join us. All right. Okay, let's set the scene. We've done the city exploration. Let's get even more ominous, shall we? Pray forgive me. I was delayed. What would you have been up to? It's fine, Orianger. We're all here now. God, I don't Let's trust get him. Let's down to business then, I don't shall trust we? him at all. Come what may, we must prevent the Telophoroi's plans from coming to fruition. At present, I see two paths for gathering the information which may aid us in achieving that goal. The first involves an investigation into the change which has come over Charlian, not to mention the recent inscrutable behavior of the Forum. As most of you know, the 99 members of the Forum are elected from the general populace, this alone guarantees a plethora of opinion with regards to foreign policy. The Bibliotheques, for example, are a group of conservatives which would have Charlie uh -oh. in focus on recording history. The while conservatives are entirely here. uninvolved in the making of it. Fuck. And at the other extreme, we have advocates for proactive diplomacy and direct intervention. My grandfather Galef was one such member, as was Archon Louisois. 
Yet despite our diverse factions and philosophies, the recent vote to deny Eorzea's request for assistance was unanimous. Even more concerning was the fact that many cited other, more pressing duties as justification for their recalcitrance. Good word. Oh, I can't wait to cast. Portion I'm going to use so much FF Redania language. Had those same undertones. It was as if, having stared unblinking into the face of impending doom, he had simply turned away to pursue something more important. But what could that possibly be? A mystery indeed. And one which I ask for your help to solve. Our future may depend on it. I've got to give a speech later. I can't be trolling. As for our second potential path, it concerns a request made directly to the students of Baldessian. Our organization was founded primarily to study strange and unexplained phenomena the world over. With the X-Files! relics and ruins, arcane disturbances, Sick. and so forth. Compared to our more isolationist Charlie and colleagues, we have strong connections overseas. Namely with scholars and academics who share our passion for the unknown. The request in question comes from one such acquaintance, Nidana, an alchemist residing in distant Thavnair. Her missive describes the sudden appearance of a tower and the subsequent summoning of what I can only assume is a lunar primal. Titan again. In response to this threat, the Satrap of Rads at Han, the individual who governs the city-state, has instructed the alchemists to find a means to deal with the spire. The artisans of that land are heirs to an ancient tradition, one rather unlike that of their Uldan counterparts. Lalas. Tis possible, nay, probable, that they have gleaned truths unattainable by Eorzea or her Far Eastern allies. They do, in fact, appear to have a strategy in mind, though it will require further research. To that end, they have requested an introduction to a capable warrior shielded by the blessing of light. <laughs> That's me. I kill him. Assuming we divide our forces to pursue both of Kral's lines of inquiry, then having you join the group heading to Thavnair would seem the obvious choice. <laughs> I go. But the investigation in Charlian is of vital importance as well. Oh, I got a Equal, choice. I think, to the Thavnarian one. Ooh. Given that the fate of the world may hinge on the results of Oh, both. it's like Shadowbringers. I get to choose. Hmm. Yes, it is quite the quandary. Though it is a great imposition and an altogether too common one, our efforts would be more likely to succeed were you to lead the charge on both fronts. Uh-huh. <laughs> I kill. You are indeed our champion. As to which task to tackle first, we will defer to your decision. Let us next decide how everyone else might best be assigned. <laughs> Who cares? As for myself, I shall continue what I've begun in Charlian. I should also like to steal the services of an Archon or two. And thereby gain access to a greater range of reading material. I will help with that. Allow me to offer my assistance. I have some small amount of experience in the field of research. I'll go where Alice goes. Alice and I would also like to help, if you would have us. What, you are going to stay here and Google? Anything to understand even a fraction of what our father and the forum might be thinking. Of course, the more the merrier. Right. The rest of us will make the journey to Thavna. Ah. Thoughts? Objections? <laughs> Any interest at all, Estinian? I passed through Thavnir on my way to infiltrate the Empire, and though I'm not qualified to give a guided tour, I did gain a sense of where things lie. I'll be happy to have you along then. So for this group, it will be you, me, and Uriangi. That's actually a solid combo. 
That's actually a 10 out of 10 team. Give me a moment afterwards, and I'll supply you with all the details of Nadana's request. Consider this hall our rendezvous point once our respective tasks are complete. May our investigations prove fruitful. <laughs> Nodders? Big nodders. Uh, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Choices, choices. Oh, we got our new chest armor. Sweet. Okay. Uh, first things first. The dark hempen coat of casting. That sounds like poor people armor. Yellow enough. Pass. It's not even remotely yellow enough. It's just got a yellow bib on it for me drooling. Yeah, that's a hard pass. I assume it's not better than what I already have because I'm geared to the fucking teeth. Nice. What was the weapon out of interest? The horse chestnut rod. Not bad. Wait. <gasps> you can die weapons? Oh, that's kind of sick. That is actually a really cool weapon. That's not bad at all. It's no Moogle staff, but it's good. Uh, I think I want to do Charlian first. There's something wrong here in... Something stinks in Denmark, and I think I'll find that out before we go and take in another zone. That's my thinking on it. An unsettling change has come over Charlian, but together we will divine the underlying cause for the forum's callousness. As I mentioned before, however, questioning the councillors directly is a fruitless endeavour. They seem to have already come to a consensus as to what and how little they are willing to divulge. Which is why I began scouring Charlian's archive of historical records for any hints of a connection to the final days. Suffice it to say that progress has been slow. There are only so many dusty pages one can skim in a day. Now that I have this band of willing reinforcements, the search should proceed all the swifter. Let us reconvene outside the Numenon, shall we? Let's go to the Phenomenon! Right? <laughs> Exit the annex to the right, and you'll find the archives on the western edge of the woods. No, oh, man! Let's go to the Phenomenon! Oh, that- I'm actually really excited for this combo of three. Every time we've gone on a road trip with Astinian, it has been always a winner. And these two together is just a clown show, so it should be good. Oh, I do have an announcement! I am not on UK time. I am on Germany time. Which means the stream will be starting an hour earlier from tomorrow. I didn't want to do it today, because we were starting Endwalker. Not that I knew there was maintenance anyway. Well, the stream will be an hour earlier. Going forward. Yeah, it's about 8 a.m. 8 a.m. Euro time. That's an Australian. Yay! <laughs> okay, we need to go all the way over there. Yeah, it is like 7.30 a.m. UK time, I'm aware of that, but otherwise we just don't stream enough hours. Like, they're booking appointments and stuff in for me for like 2 p.m. onwards. So if we start at like 9.30, we just don't really get enough time. It's okay, because the first hour I'll be doing Slice anyway, so you're not missing any Endwalker. You're good. You're good. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, very true. For the first hour, I'm cackpotting and whatever. <laughs> it works for me. Keep it, <laughs> keep it as normal. Th thanks. No worries. No worries. I know it only can be easy some, but it's it's just the case that we're going to be on German time for the next two weeks-ish. Because there's no way this raid goes 15 days. There's just no fucking chance. I am going to go back. I'm just exploring. Oh, I interrupted the achievement. Got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. There you go. Did it. I'm so excited to see what's in all these buildings. Because this feels like, um... Almora, but, you know... Dryer. My directions were easy enough to follow, I hope. In any case, you stand now before the doors of Numenon. Charlian's grandest collection of books and tomes. Sick. This building is actually only in the entrance, one of many at that. The archives of Numenon extend deep beneath the surface like the roots of a tree. The vast halls of the great Google Library pale in comparison to Numenon's endless maze of subterranean chambers. Any citizens of Charlian is free to enter and peruse its shelves, well, most of its shelves, while the Archons are afforded access to certain restricted vaults. Now dispatch this Tola and Raha to investigate those. Oh, that's where in the cutscene Raha must have been. And he discovered something in the books, amongst the dusty tomes. Meanwhile, Alizé and Alphano will help me continue my search for the stacks to open to the general public. Your status presents more of a problem. You see, you are scum, a non-citizen, an immigrant. You are only permitted to browse the first floor here at the entrance and buy from our waffle stand. Even so, there should be a number of books which touch upon the Charlian history or foreign policy. Your task will be to find and study the relevant publications. I promise you a working knowledge of those subjects will make it far easier to spot the sort of clues we're looking for. Let us be about it, shall we? I've told the others to meet us at the stone benches over there once they found some promising tomes. Happy reading. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, is there no search function? Even 90s libraries had a search function. Oh, wow. Oh god, I can almost smell this place. What was the name of the place in Game of Thrones that had the big, um... It had the big statue of the world in the middle of it, you remember? The Citadel, yeah, it was just called the Citadel, wasn't it? Gives me that vibe to it. You're looking for a specific volume? Only Archons may check out Forbidden Tomes. But if there's anything else you require, simply say the word. A brightly coloured... This is a kid's book. The Story of Charlian. Oh. Okay. Reading voice time. Long, long ago, on an island in the Northern Sea, there lived a rugged man by the name of a Zeke boy. A Zeke? was a student of astrology, and he divined that a flood of terrifying proportions would soon sweep over the lands of Eorzea. So it was that he built a gigantic ship, assembled a crew, and set sail for the imperiled realm. The flood arrived as foretold, and to their horror the strangely churning waters drove the people towards the ocean. It was there, however, that Azzi's crew hauled them aboard his ark, but the danger had not passed. A towering wave approached, threatening to smash the vessel to pieces. With only moments to spare, Azzi wove a mighty spell of teleportation and shifted the entire ship to safety atop Apalathia's spine. Refugees from the surrounding regions huddled there alongside them, but it was not long before disputes over the dwindling supply of food led to violence and bloodshed. Saddened by the sight, as he gathered to him his crew and his grateful passengers, and abandoned the Ark to those reddened peaks. They journeyed to the coast where they built a new ship. <laughs> he quit the guild and made a new one, <laughs> intent upon returning to the northern seas. They landed on the beach of an island and settled upon that very spot. That settlement prospered and grew, and in no time it became the city of Charlian we 
living to this day. Has he found it, Charlian? Well, would you look at that? What a champion. The Red Covered Book. Roads of Old, the Colony. Many years ago, on the banks of the Thaliac in the Dravanian hinterlands, a Charlian colony once thrived. This settlement was originally established as a mere outpost to study the ethereal sea in the year 1311 of the Sixth Astral Era. Scholars dispatched to Eorzea found the facilities wanting, and their demands encouraged a gradual expansion in structures and services. As rumours spread of a growing community of academics, the area was further inundated with Eorzean students hoping to share in the renowned wisdom of the Charlians. Fifty years later, the Forum passed a motion to recognise what had become a flourishing town as an official Charlian colony. Eorzean residents took to calling the colony itself Charlian, which led to no small amount of confusion when discussions turned to the subject of the motherland. In response, some Charlian inhabitants, if pressed for a name, would simply say, if Nvidia can do it, then so can we. Following the Great Exodus, however, goblins and treasure hunters claimed for themselves a corner of the abandoned colony and gave it yet another name, Idleshire. Following chapters go, to some, uh, go on to introduce the most prominent features of Idleshire. The book does not appear to contain additional information. Cool. Ah, there are many tomes. Who's worse, NVIDIA or Intel? Intel, every single fucking time. The time-worn tome. This is because of how excited people were to come to Charlian, right? They really, really pushed out the, uh, the, back, the backdrop. During the chaos of the sixth Umbral Calamity, Archon Azzi, founder of Charlian, bore witness to the madness and savagery of men brought to the brink of despair. Upon raising a settlement on an island in the northern empty, he instructed his people thus, renounce the ways of war and pursue enlightenment through knowledge and reason. The Charlians took to heart the words of their saviour and thenceforth served as stewards of wisdom. Upon a foundation of accumulated learning, they built a homeland unlike any other, a nation born from the strength of minds rather than strength of arms. With knowledge of economics came shrewd trading. With knowledge of agriculture came bountiful crops. Engineering brought wells and sewers, ending squabbles over water. Wealth of expertise could be bartered for wealth and coin. And the more their wisdom spread throughout the world, the more mankind as a whole would thrive. And so it was that no matter the trials and tribulations of the age, the citizens of Charlian would live by their founders' teachings, for the sake of a better tomorrow, for the sake of a brighter star. They would eschew the tools of war, and with knowledge, deliver the world. <laughs> kind of understandable perspective as to why they didn't get involved, man. My beloved seekers of knowledge, have you ever put learning before your health and neglected to feed and rest your body as you should? I too once engaged in such foolish practices, but one night engrossed in philosophical study, I had an epiphany. For all the world's mysteries that drive us to reckless abandon, we have so very few years of life in which to achieve our goals. Thus I now share with you this mantra, just eat. It will provide food while you continue to work, and I am forever now 20 summers young. The number itself is unimportant. You could be 19 or 23 or 40. Whatever age you are, Uber Eats will deliver. Let that be the age you aspire to remain. Through mindful, healthy living, you will extend the time available to spend upon your chosen research. Another day, another moon, another summer, to grasp the greater truths you pursue. In the pages that follow, we will explore the secrets of the menus, the physical condition from a biological, ethereological, and arcane viewpoint. Beautiful. Hashtag ad. We got blasted by Uber Eats ads every time we tried to look at Twitch. 
The Blue Covered Book. The History of the Blue Mage, mayhaps. Holy fucking Jesus Christ! Holy shit, Targ. Wow. God damn, dude. That is a fucking gut punch. Thank you so much, Targ. Zapik, Weldon Varden, V. Daniel, Scorrigan, Vernon Fixer, and Mr. Lord Azure. Germany hype, indeed. Although it's dead at the moment. Everyone's downstairs, I think. Thank you so much, Targ. And so is 100 of you who have a sub. Enjoy. Enjoy. Dodgers, Dodgers unite, man. Have you ever gazed at the skies above and contemplated the mysteries contained therein? I speak not of shifting cloud patterns, but of the vastness beyond, of the sun, and of the twinkling tapestry of the night. Some think the dome above us to be a finite space. Flat earthers? In Charlian? No, dude. Yet amongst the leading thinkers of our age, one scholar's depiction of a boundless sea of stars has firmly taken root. Alas... This heavenly sea remains an unreachable, unknowable destination. There are a few indeed who can explain in satisfactory detail why our own star is believed to revolve around the sun. It was the technologies of Alag, praise be. Worship them! Who came closest to understanding the laws which govern that starry abyss. It was they who launched Dalamud and sought to expand beyond our earthbound existence. Having read of their ancient ambitions, I wonder, has your interest in this field of study waxed or waned? What if I were to tell you that the eternal constellations were arranged differently in the distant past, that their positions continue to shift, almost imperceptibly, but measurably, as we journey into the future? Would it shock you to learn that the stars drift further and further apart, and may indeed do so forever? Are you eager to learn more? Then deposit $50 here to find out the truth. Number six will shock you. That's definitely felt like the setup for uh, some sort of money grabbing scheme, didn't it? It's fucking elegance. <laughs> Asero, thank you very much for the prime. Zelenio, thank you as well for the three months side by side. Thank you. The voice of a growing city. Here we go. In the years which followed the founding of Charlian, civic policy and other matters of import were decided at the Ecclesia, a public forum at which every citizen was eligible to speak. As the city's population grew, this format became increasingly impractical. The larger number of participants gave rise to ever longer debates resulting in significant delays of vital resolutions. Oh, politics, hypers. Various measures were introduced in an attempt to curtail protracted discussions. But in the year 201 of the sixth astral era, it was ultimately decreed that Charlian would transition to a new form of governance. The nation would now be led by a body of 99 members, citizens chosen from amongst their peers by means of gerrymandering. Thus was the forum as we know it today conceived and created. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna draw the lines, man. We're gonna draw the lines and make it work. <laughs> Damn it, Jerry Xenos! Good see, good see, good see. The crazy 99. Yeah, they were absolute maniacs through and through. <laughs> They're most obnoxious 99 people they could find. Who voted? Who selected the 99 is my question. I want to know that answer. Hey, what up team? Sorry, were you waiting long? I wanted to make sure I'd borrowed at least a few promising volumes. Alpha Noah Cryl should be along shortly. I was delayed in a similar fashion. As far as I could see, no titles in the Archon stacks mentioned the final day specifically, so I have no choice but to start with the tangent tangentially relevant tomes, if they're even that. At present, the plan is to skim through as quickly as we dare, and share our discoveries as we make them. 
It would be nice to invite everyone to the estate. Plenty of comfortable places to read and a ready supply of hot tea. Oh, <laughs> I was always quite fond of reading outside. But it's not about the little pleasures, is it? You miss your home. Sadalase? No, man! No, Sadalase! No, 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 no. Um, it's... it's been difficult. After our arrival, we managed to speak with one of the family servants and ask how things were. It seems our dear father has instructed the staff that even if Alphano and I would return to Charlian, we were not allowed to cross the threshold. A harsh measure indeed. I hope that our efforts to understand his position and that of the Forum will perhaps lead to a reconciliation. We'll mend this rift one day, I'm certain of it. And what of you, Graha? Have you been to visit your family, or do they not live here in the city? Uh, well, my situation is also somewhat complicated. I was raised in Charlian, yes, but I was born rather further away. In the southern reaches of Ilzabad, in fact. For generations, my people have dwelt in Corvus, the coastal region opposite to the island of Thavnir. The Alligans founded a city in that fertile land and by ship brought in the subjugated tribes of the Makote to serve as laborers. Of course, the massive earthquakes of the fourth Umbral Calamity brought an end to the Empire's reign, and when the fifth Calamity froze the seas solid, many of the tribes still living in Corvos braved the journey back to Eorzea. My ancestors, however, chose to remain, that they might prevent the remnants of Alligan technology from being misused. Isn't Corvus under Garlean rule? For the past 50 years, yes. Some semblance of local culture remains, as is the case for most Imperial provinces. But Garlemald renamed the region. Locus Amonus. <laughs> when I was a boy, a nearby town came under the jurisdiction of an illustrious Imperial family. The nobles of House Durnus. House Dan has demonstrated a singular interest in Allegan civilization, and so my tribe was forced to consider a plan of action. For some time already, voices have been raised in favor of abandoning our ancient customs. After all, the Allegan eye no longer passed to our eldest children as reliably as it once did. Fear of discovery eventually tipped the scales, and the decision was made to bury our ties to the knowledge and the traditions of Alleg. As the last child born with the Allegan Eye, I was given over to the custody of friends and the students of Baldesian, who had been registered as a Charlian citizen. I never even considered. Forgive me, it was an unkind question. Even Thancred was taken in by Archon Louisois, was he not? Stories of adopted wives and rescued orphans are more common among Charlians than you might think. <laughs> Yet, regardless of our origins, we are all provided with an equal opportunity to learn, and with sufficient prosperity, we outsiders can even earn the vaunted title of Archon. This is exactly why I, love, I have such love for this country, and why I wish it to remain a nation of which its citizens can be proud. Here, here! Another good reason to get to the bottom of the Forum's stubbornness, aside from the trifling matter of our impending doom. Excuse us while we try to make some headway into these books, Floor. More companies should be arriving any moment now, and we know you can't read. <laughs> okay. Checkers. <laughs> what else do I know of Corvos? Uh, precious little, I'm afraid. I've not returned since Master Gallop first brought me here. I can't tell you the Kovosi rebels still seek to slip the yoke of their Imperial masters, though the fighting is far less fierce than it once was. Oh, and they have carpets. Flying carpets, like you've seen in WoW. Legends are quite extraordinary. There are others better suited to poring over old history books, so I thought I'd try my luck with more recent events. If I could find anything to better inform me of the forum's baffling behaviour. 
Okay. Yeah, Galof is Kryl's dad. Yes, sir. I'm getting to grips with the names. Grandfather, grandfather. Okay. There's always a ton of new names. We've returned with our selections. Although I must say, the pickings were quite slim indeed. Mistress Kryle has already flicked through every history book devoted to disasters, and more than a few which barely made mention of them. As such, we were lucky to research papers on the Umbral Calamities, as well as articles written by prominent forum members. Perhaps their knowledge of the final days comes from an unexpected source. Speaking of which, might I ask you a few questions related to the final days? I'm the only one here who didn't witness the events of Armour at first hand. I fear I may be overlooking critical details. Heh, <laughs> I was there. If you had done Eureka, oh come on! These are the same people who raged at me when I was like, oh, we should go try out this Eureka place. And you flew into a blind, unfettered rage. Eureka sucks! It's the worst. Sucks! Don't go to Eureka, Mike. It's the worst place in the world. It does suck, though. You also said Bosnia sucks, and it doesn't. It doesn't. My thanks. Now, where to begin? First things first, what kind of phenomena did the ancients encounter as the final days grew nigh? Uh, primals of unrivaled power were summoned from the ether. The worst kind of phenomena you could imagine. <laughs> Such a get out of jail free card. Oh, the worst. It's really, really bad. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was both of these, though, right? Um, no, I got it wrong. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> fuck off, Alfie. Fact checking me. Fact checkers. Nerd. Fucking nerd, man. You're a nerd, Alfie. <laughs> um. I believe Heidelin and Zodiac were summoned after the final days had arrived, you dumb fucker. Quite deliberately, in fact. If we're speaking of phenomena caused by the final days, the chaos of creation magics run rampant is what first comes to mind. Fear and despair manifested in terrible, tangible fashion. Meteors raining from the sky, fire erupting from the ground, indescribable abominations prowling the streets. That's what I was talking about with the primals! That, I wasn't wrong. I wasn't talking about Heidelin and Zodiac. I can tell you all about them, right? I can tell you about the Council of the Twelve, and how they got involved, and then they went back. 50% and 50% again. I really do did pay attention. Not technically primals. All right. All right. That more or less aligns with my understanding. If only the arts of creation had survived until the present day, we might have had something substantial to analyze. To the best of our knowledge, however, these techniques were not pres preserved or passed on. Which told us wise that the closest known magic is that of the summoning rituals prom promulgated by the Asians. Was that art house of note which heralded the approach of the final days? The entire star was engulfed by disaster all at once. They say it began with a key, a keening sound from the land itself. Alpha, no tell them. <laughs> Just run the dungeon, man. <laughs> that one. <laughs> ah, yes. The Amorotans spoke of it, didn't they? We never did hear the sound ourselves, of course, thrust as we were into the midst of the madness. But it seems that each and every one of the catastrophes was preceded by this ominous noise. Eventually it resounded all across the star, and not even Amorot was spared. So the ground was crying out, you say? To be considered the harbinger of doom must have been quite distinctive and probably quite loud. Oh, we're going to hear that sound at some point, and I'm going to shit my pants. 
Oh, they're definitely going to play that sound us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's coming at some point. I wonder if it's going to be like an air raid siren. I wonder if we get that. Oh, no. It's going to be Emma doing a Scottish accent. I'll have to speak with one of Numana's mammoths and ask if any of the books which make mention of such a sound. I am, yes. I'm in Hamburg right now. I did a little mini tour of the place this morning, if you want to see it. Uh, last but not least, would you describe how the ancients sought to quell this unprecedented calamity? What definitive action did they take? They summoned Zodiac. Nodders! Yes. With a little bit of serving as his heart, so many gave themselves as sacrifice to bring him into being. Yes, 75% of the population. Actually, it was 50% for Zodiac. Another 50% for Hydaelyn. I think. <laughs> I think that's right. It was 75% total, though. We don't know exactly how Zodiac brought salvation to the star. Only that he, by his godlike will. Wrong? Wait, wait, wait. It was 50% to summon Zodiac. Wasn't the other 50% for Hydaelyn? Yeah, oh, was it another... What, what, what did they try to do? Yeah, what was the other 50% for Zodiac again? What was that for? 50% for Rebirth. To revitalize the planet, that was it, yeah. Revitalize the planet, that's the one. Nailed it. I knew that. We do not know exactly how Zodiac brought salvation to the star. Only that by his godlike will were the laws of nature set right. 50% of the 50%, so 25%. Oh, come on. You guys could do percentages. It's 75%. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Who's got 66? Get out! You're not welcome. You're not welcome. Get out. <laughs> and once the balance was redressed, the ancients offered up a further sacrifice to heal the ravages of final days. Life sprouted anew, and it was these fledgling souls they intended to render unto Zodiac, a trade that would have allowed them to resurrect the shades of loved ones absorbed by the Primal. That's the Asian plan. Or oh, might have, had Vanette and her fellows not manifest manifested their opposition in the form of Hydaelyn. Thank you, both of you, for the detailed review. They're only doing this because you need to know this going forward. <gasps> Are we going to have to sacrifice maybe like half the planet? Oh no. Oh. That's a bit early of a gamber, but maybe, maybe. We've had Emmett Selk doing some voiceover work. That creeps me out. We've had the touching goodbye of Tataru. And now we're remembering exactly how the final days came about. I wonder if Hydaelyn will ask us for the sacrifice. Pa. As she says she's weakened. She can no longer move us to where we need to be. Is Heidelin gonna ask for the sacrifice? <gasps> because I'll fucking do it. <laughs> I'll fucking do it. <laughs> I'll fucking... The Lala's are first. The Lala's are first. You're on. <clears throat> and then them stupid hairy ones. They can go. Hrothgar, they're, they're on them, they're on next. With all that fresh in mind, it does make me wonder what the Telophoroi truly mean when they speak of bringing back the final days. <laughs> I wonder! <laughs> I do wonder, Kryle! I wonder what they could possibly mean. <laughs> I do wonder. 
We've seen what they're doing with these towers of theirs. It's forcing people to summon primals a kind of catalyst. Are they attempting to mirror the conditions caused by unstable creation magics? Or are they simply using the final days as a figure of speech? A convenient metaphor for the scale of destruction they plan to unleash. <sighs> this is all just pointless conjecture at this stage. Let us return our attention to the forum, shall we? I feel like we're at the bowling alley and the pins just came down and then they went up. And now it's time to roll the ball. <laughs> now it's time to roll the ball. I feel like the pins just came down. <laughs> there they are in a nice, neat little row. <sighs> Gamba. Oh, that's true. Yeah, no one plays Lala Fellow Hrothgar. So that would only constitute like 5% needed of 50. I think we have to throw the cats in there. And that should... In fact, if we could probably save the Lala's and Hrothgar and just throw the cats in there, that's a good 90%. We shall keep an eye out for Yishtola. It's this time we began studying these research papers. I don't want to sacrifice Yish, but it's a percentages game. What do you want me to do? Get rid of 90% of, of every other race just to save Yish? Yeah, maybe. I'm the last, am I? Well, my extended search of the Archon stacks produced one or two possibly useful books. So I wouldn't get your hopes up. If you recall, Arianje learned of the source's reflections from the Garen Oracles for its potential to cause panic and confusion. That tome was deemed apocrypha and sealed away in the Great Google Library. It's even less likely that knowledge of the unsundered world, not to mention the horrors of the final days, would be left sitting on a shelf for any curious scholar to find. It stands to reason, then, that my colleagues, be they archons or counsellors, should per perforce to be largely ignorant on the subject. So there's an extra library somewhere in Charlie, and that should be easy to find. Yeah, when you confronted Master Forshner with knowledge of the Telophoroi and their machinations, he scoffed at the suggestion that they posed a threat. He seemed adamant that the Forum would know if the final days were truly upon us. So I suppose the conclusion that whatever privileged wisdom is guiding the Forum's behaviour, is being kept secret from the rest of the nation. Not that I mean to excuse myself from reading duty. Whether they could say mention the final days or no, these books could yet hold something of value. You weren't thinking of leaving, were you? There's plenty of work for everyone. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I mean... No, 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 I want, I, want to, I want to stay and read. I would hate to just miss out on the reading and have it explained to me later. That would be terrible. You labor for what feels like an age as you stole his research assistant. Oh my god. Oh dear, you look exhausted. But what about your studies? Were you able to find any books on the subjects I mentioned? But the day was well spent. Should you wish to read them again, a mama at the reference desk will point you in the right direction. For the moment, though, I suggest you take a well-deserved rest. We might be occupied with our research for quite some time. Okay, I go to bed. You guys do the work. That's a square deal. Stop trying to hit me, Rain. <sighs> Ready for a tea bake, floor? I know I am. Honestly, my neck and shoulders are going to calcify if I don't stretch my legs and walk around for a bit. You know the last stand down in the harbour, don't you? Come and meet me near the outside tables and I'll treat you to their coffee. It's quite good. I don't drink coffee. I'm not even lying, I don't even drink coffee. IRL or otherwise. What? I don't think I tax Scholars Harbor. How? 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 Nani? Uh, no, I don't. All right, what's closest? It's the main Ethrite, I guess. 
I don't drink coffee, no. Oh, I tell you a true story. <laughs> Alex was flying out after me from the UK, and the production team has several members of the UK on it. They asked Alex to bring an emergency shipment of tea. I think he's brought something like 2,000 tea bags for them because they were so desperate <laughs> for tea bags. Alex had to fly from London to here to deliver tea to the production team. Everyone needs their tea. Brits, I know, I don't drink tea either. <laughs> I only stick to Fritz Limo. Fritz Limo for all your refreshing needs. I don't really drink warm drinks, no. Fritz Limo. <laughs> Sponsored? No. <laughs> it's just what we have. In fact, I need a drink before we carry on. Let's get a drink. Hold on. Let's get a drink. And my Fritz Limo is now so warm, it's painful. Let's go grab a drink. Hold on. Uh, where did I put this? Da -da. Ah, there we go. All right, let's go get a drink. Join me. Hold on. I've got to put my mask on. And we'll be a good boy. We'll be a really good boy. And we'll take our bottle. So we don't make a mess. Right, I'll have to take the stairs because I think you guys will cut out if uh, I take the lift. And I don't want that to happen. But last, when we were in here this morning, there was some... There was a German lady screaming, so I'm sure it's fine. I need to go up. I need to go to the Echo World. Up we go. And up again. Okay. I do get. Is Alex still in there? Check in. He is! Hi Al! Hi mate, you alright? Oh, you got mine! I'm down, I'm downloading Final Fantasy. You're downloading Final Fantasy? Yeah, to play a race to one first for World of Warcraft. Good man, good man. I need a drink. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <laughs> now. I need to choose the appropriate frit. Oh, I can smell food. Righteous. Oh, we can get lunch. What are we getting? Chicken, veg, rice. What is that? It's like a chicken mushroom, mushroom curry. Veggie burgers? Huh. Veggie. Right, what are we getting? Water, yes. Precious water. I'll have some lunch when I finish the stream. Hopefully there'll be some food left. Let's go check out the boys real quick, shall we? Casting room looking top. Looks good. Production boys working hard. Yeah. Ahoy team. Ahoy. Hello, hello. Ahoy. How's it going? Yeah, not bad. Gamers gaming. Wild Roger. <laughs> Wild Roger Browns, dude. So we'll be in here in the next little while. All right, let's head back. We have water. It's a bit of a journey to get a drink, isn't it? Let's go all the way back downstairs. Sounds like they're having fun in there. See, when I say I'm getting a drink and you guys are like, and we're back. Yeah. Hope.
It's all good. I'm back. Did we F at the last minute? <laughs> Two mics. Two places at once. It's a hell of a journey to get a drink, man. Since the stairs... What, did we not even... Did you not get to go downstairs? I swear they were chains. Did you not even see the lads? Or oh, when I came down? <laughs> Why are they sitting in the basement? I'm not. I'm on the ground floor. But, um... I have a... A, a like a private soundproof booth. Just at the end? Alright, that's fine. That's fine. Mm. It's sweet down there, though. I'm not sure what that food is, but I'm going to eat it later. <sighs> it looks tasty. I'm hungry now. <clears throat> the ground floor of this place is... I'll show you really quick where we are. Arcadia, Hamburg. I'm at somewhere called Arcadia, Hamburg, but it's Arcadia straight up without the A. So it's Arcadia. This is where I am. Arcadia, Hamburg, eSport and Gaming Hotel. It's enormous. It's got seven floors. This is the outside area. That's the bar where I showed you guys before. This is the outside area for barbecues. This is, this is my room. This is what I have, which is perfectly fine for me. Doxed. <laughs> I've literally invited you guys here on Saturday. If you are, can, can get out to Hamburg on Saturday. Come down. Because uh, they're going to be hosting it. And I showed off. They've got like uh, VR escape rooms, VR laser tag. They've got flight simulators. They've got... Um, Racing chairs, they've got all these uh, LAN areas. It's pretty sweet. That is not my room at all. They have a gym. They have a cinema, and yeah. as the, In the middle here is the ports with just like HDMI ports and stuff, and 99% of what happens in this cinema is people book it out and watch anime. That's it. <laughs> they book this out and just watch anime, and they say it's pretty much fully booked all the time with people just watching anime. Based. <laughs> totally based. Uh, but it's sick. Yeah, they've got... Oh, that's true. There's a ping pong and pool room that I want to mess around in later. Uh, but this is... Yeah, Arcadia. This is where we're playing at right now. Oh, yeah. Spot. I'll, I'll just, I've changed everything to English. Stop. Mm. Oh, they got a picture of Scripey up there. Ooh. Well, yeah, it's sweet. It's, uh, it's the biggest, biggest venue I've ever seen. I wasn't in this picture. What kind of bullshittery is this? Ugh. Maximum bullshittery. Maximum bullshittery. Yeah, what a scam. What a scam. How rude taking pictures before I get here. Since so moving every website is in German and I can't read it yet, I know. FF streamers not invited for the World of Warcraft race to world first? Surprisingly, no. No. No, they didn't. I'm telling. It says so. Look. No, 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 no. Look. I'm talented. Look, see? It says so on my badge. There's no denying it anymore. There's no denying it. My badge says so. All right. I have a talent. <laughs> the wild card is... Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Sus. <laughs> sus. That is sus. You wrote that yourself? I didn't. I swear to you. This is also holds my morning's COVID test. It's really useful, look. So every morning I have to do a COVID test and I have to put my test in here to prove my COVID goodness. So it's a two for one. It's my badge and my COVID proof. I'm all good, man. There it is. You wrote that? I didn't, I didn't. I swear to you, I didn't. Pregnant, yeah, I'm pregnant. Oh, cold water. What's your talent? Yesterday, I had to shoot an advert where I had to uh, walk out of a lift door casually. Not, hard, not easy to pull that off. Not easy to pull that off. As busy as ever, I see. How very Charlie and that no other gourmet cafe has sprung up to compete for customers. Actually, this crowd gives me an idea. Before we place an order, why don't we ask a few questions and gauge the mood of the city? I'm interested to hear what the average citizen has to say about the Tlofferoi. We might even learn something new. Worth a try, don't you think? I'll say it's now a company. Oh, so we do this thing again. Okay. Huh. It's nice, this, because it was always weird that they teleport where they're going. I actually don't mind that. What? What is it? Can a man not enjoy a moment of private respite? 
If you're looking to share a table, then I respectfully request that you look elsewhere. Uh, you misunderstood us, sir. We're simply wondering if you know of the Telophoroi. These enemies of peace have promised to an end of all we hold dear and... Wait. You're the house lover, you girl, aren't you? And this woman with you is obviously a foreigner. <laughs> I'd heard you were disowned for helping outsiders indulge their barbaric whims, and here you are, giving truth to the rumour. I'll thank you, leave me be. I've naught to say to the likes of you. Well, I must apologise. It was foolish of me to expect an ons of civility from one so enlightened. Come, Flo. Fuck off! Okay. Nice guy. 10 out of 10. Hildwar. Yes. Yes, I don't believe I've had the pleasure. Pray excuse the interruption, but we were hoping you might share your thoughts on the Telophoroi and their unconscionable plans. My goodness, if it isn't the young Miss Levieur. My apologies, but I work in the offices of the Forum, and if word reached Master Fauchino that I was helping you... I, I see. We're sorry to have bothered you. Dickon! Dickon! Welcome, madam. What can I offer you today? Wait, is that Mistress Alice I see there? My word, how long has it been? Far too long, Dickon. Meet Dickon, the owner of the last stand. I used to frequent his cafe on occasion, in between lessons at the studio. That seems like an age ago now. I remember hearing that you and Master Alphano had set sail for a yours year, but then you never came back. Lately, there's been gossip about your father disowning the pair of you. Is everything all right at home? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fine. Nopers. It's complicated. I hadn't expected complete strangers to be so familiar with our situation quite so quickly. Everyone has an opinion, it seems. Well, it is House Levier. No matter how discreet Master Forshno may have been, news on your family's doings never stays secret for long. Things being what they are, what brings you back to the city now of all times? We have questions, and only Charlian has the answers. Tell me, Master Dickon, have you heard anything about an apocalypse called the Final Days? What? Like the end of the world? Nothing like that, I'm afraid, and... That's what you're here to find, information on this apocalypse. Yes, whatever we can learn. Unfortunately, your patrons appear to be unwilling to speak with me. I wish there was more I could do to help. Hmm, but maybe there is. You're a visitor to Charlene, aren't you? Then few will know your face. We should be able to pass you off as a server with none the wiser. Oh, no. We just finished preparing a few orders. Strike up some friendly convos while you're setting down the food. You might just get the answers you're looking for. I'm not paying you. That's a bad idea. I hate to ask, but what do you think? That's the spirit. Now pay attention now and I'll explain where each of these dishes needs to go. The tea set is for the chatty group sitting by the water's edge. The omelette is for one of our regulars, a Highlander by the name of Gizla. She's sitting outside the table with a friend of hers. Behind them, you should see a Makoti gentleman. He ordered the oven-baked lobster. Got it? You're not sure? Just ask, I'll explain again. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. All right. Place the correct dish where it needs to go. Do I need to pick up the dishes? I'm really hungry now, I've smelled that food. I'm so hungry. I've got a rehearsal soon, though. Right. The tea set is for the chatty group. Oh, my tea set. Lovely, thank you. Oh, that is the chatty group. 
I know I was picking it up. It's a lot for who? I'm sorry, I've never heard of any of them in our final days. My friends and I are somewhat uninformed when it comes to current events. Now, if you wanted to hear about the ritual arcane practice of the Six Astral Era, common or esoteric, then I'd be happy to talk your ear off. Uh, this is the omelette. Ah, oh, finally. Two, four, six, eight. Let's dig in, no time to waste. It's a bad song. What, the Telophoroi? Ah, yes, I remember seeing their name in the latest Gazette. That is some grand claim about the end of days. Same old senseless warmongering. When will these fools grow tired of spilling each other's blood? Best stay out of it, I say. The Forum made the right choice, and I fully support our decision to remain neutral. Lobster. And not urbane banter. At last, the oven baked lobster is mine! You have no idea how long I've scrimped and saved and suffered to afford this heavenly dish. Final days. This is the first I've heard of it. Although that would explain why my friend has been rushed off his feet. It must be a busy time to be a gleaner. What's a gleaner? Looking into the future? Oh, you don't know what a gleaner is? They're collectors of a sort. Travel the world procuring things that we haven't got here in Charlien. Priceless books and usual life specimens and so forth. So named for those folk who trail after the reapers in the fields, picking up every grain which was missed. Aye, by all accounts, gleaning is a most meticulous and demanding profession. If these Telophoroi make good on their audacious threats, then many uncatalogued rarities could be lost forever. Why else would the gleaners be buzzing about in such a frenzy? Are they making an arc? That's what Azzy did. That's what founded Charlie. Hmm. Watch the arm and you'll see what I mean. They're carting loads in from the docks all day. It's never been this hectic before. Not like this. Huh. Oh. Or, or, mayhaps, Charlian has struck an accord with Fun Daniel, and the rest of Eorzea is to be sacrificed, and Charlian will be spared. So they're bringing everything here. Oh, Gambra, I'm full of theories right now. I'm full of theories. I have a theory. I have a theory. Can't gamble on it. No, 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 no. Any trouble with the customers? Are you able to get anyone talking? Interesting. They seem unaware of the final days, aside from whatever vague news the gazettes are printing. Even Dickon had nothing to offer, and he's the best source of gossip in the city. Hmm. If the Forum does have secret knowledge that they've done an impressive job of ensuring no one whispers it in the wrong ear. In any case, thank you for playing the part so well. Here, that cup of coffee I promised. Uh, I don't want it. Got any water? Uh, but let's enjoy our drinks somewhere else, shall we? Maybe behind the peristyle, away from the gossips and their wagging tongues. Uh, I've got a lot of theories of where this is going. I need more clues. I need more, more, more. Are they gonna shadow bring us me and blue ball me for like four or five days before we even get a sniff of info? Even a whiff does. So I don't have the annex on a s <laughs> Smile please! <laughs> Smile Fiesta. Gamba! <laughs> no, Gamba, it's not enough to gamba on you. <laughs> yes, this should do nicely. 
Out of the wind and out of sight. Oh, I got I got I got I got We're about to be harassed, aren't we? Oh, God, are you gonna die? Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. It's the, the, the hearty one-on-one -on -one with the piano. When our father disowned us, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. It wasn't until much later that his words began to sink in, that I began to feel the weight of what it meant. Do you remember when the decision was made to come to Charlien? Grahal said that the Forum was determined to keep us in the dark, and that Father's venomous performance was part of that strategy, to keep us at arm's length. Perhaps it was. Father argued with Grandfather on many occasions, but never with such dismissive contempt. And when he demanded what justifies the sacrifices we make in war, I honestly didn't know what to say. Neither did Alpha know, I know, but never for one moment did I believe we had made the wrong choice. So all I could do was fume silently. It was only afterwards that I realized how childish I had been, how being stubborn and self-righteous must run in the family. If I could have just mustered a civil response, then things might have turned out differently. Building an ark. Oh, not an ark, but they're storing everything underground, aren't they? They must be ferrying goods to Labyrinthos. Well, Charlene will be the ark. A vast they? complex beneath the island. Uh -huh. Charlene is famous for archiving knowledge from around the world. Yeah. But that knowledge is not preserved exclusively in dusty tomes and desiccated samples. Our living library, comprised of all manner of flora and fauna, is housed and studied within that underground facility. Still, that did seem to be an unusually large shipment. Right. When I lived here, it was rare to even see such cargo transported by boat. Hmm. Wait, didn't you hear something in the last stand about the gleaners coming and going more than usual? I did. Well, I think they're the ones we saw manning those boats. And gleaners answer to the forum. They expect to have the rest of the world to burn. If the appearance of the Telophoroi prompted this sudden burst of activity, then Labyrinthos may hold a clue as to what the forum is planning. Are we going in? No, let's go read more books. Yeah, we should probably pass on that idea. Go read some more books. Level 90, baby! Ooh! We have capped! We have capped! We have done it! We have capped! Mayhaps, cappage. <laughs> we're there, we're large and we're in charge. <laughs> Time's level below. I have two ults on the go, but they're not high enough for this, so no big deal. GG, there we are. Elemental gauge expanded. What's the top one? Oh, there it is. Well, under the effects of Astral Fire 3 or Umbral Ice 3 and 3 Umbral Hearts, swapping to the opposite element will allow you to execute Paradox. Is that a new spell? Oh, 
Paradox. Deals unexpected damage with a potency of 500. Uh, refreshes the duration of Astral Fire and 40% chance to grab Fire Starter. Fire Starter effect. That's Fire 3. Yeah. yeah. If you do it with it while you've got ice, spell is cast immediately. It requires no mana to cost and refreshes duration of Umbral Ice. Okay. Mm. Why can't I drag it out? Oh, it's a passive. Ah, it changes the spell. Okay, that makes more sense. Let's look at why a passive had a cast time and stuff, but it changes my spell. Sweet. Okay. Uh, what was that other trait? We've got Aspect Mastery 5. Adds a Paradox Marker to your elemental gauge. The marker is made active after reaching Astral Fire 3 and then swapping to the opposite element. Conversely, the marker can also be made active after reaching Umbral Ice 3 and gaining 3 Umbral Hearts, then swapping to the opposite element. Lizard and Fire become Paradox when the Paradox marker is made active. Okay. Does that mean we get rid of Blizzard 3? Keep Blizzard 3, and we keep Freeze as well. Yes, I'm aware of the time. Okay, so I think I need one more binding for Blizzard then. I wonder if you can make a macro. Like, can you do like a slash cast paradox? <laughs> oh, will, f I mean, is, uh, will fire change the paradox? Oh, it's a Blizzard at all? When paradox is active? That would be nice. Yes, okay, that makes more sense as to how that would work. Okay, cool. All right, let's go into the labyrinth. We should tell the others what we've learned about the gleaners. Go on ahead to Numenon. I'll join you in a moment. Master Dickon will want his cups back. I right, will try it out later, because I imagine, because we've just started, I won't be able to use Paradox until, like, a late dungeon or something. Probably many, many hours. In the open world, we get to piss about with it, but for the most part, we're not going to be able to touch it. I mean, we're just at Charlie and, and uh, we've, we've capped already. If I get some time outside of stream, uh, depending on my casts, I might try and get my ult up soon. I could just pay for a boost. That wouldn't be a problem, right? <clears throat> Skipper. I've got my... Oh, to be fair, I got my... Um, I got my Arcanist to uh, level 32, so we could start the Scholar Quest line, so I could actually do some healing. Welcome back, Floor. Been for a walk and cleared your head, have you? Not exactly. We did some impromptu investigating and turned up information on the Gleaners. I wonder if this will be a dungeon. Why would there be enemies in there? It makes sense. The Gleaners take their requests directly from institutions and bureaucrats, but as you say, they ultimately answer to the forum. A sudden and significant increase in Gleaner traffic and in cargo, it certainly gives the impression of an overarching plan being put into motion. Uh, let's just see what theory we can build from the facts. As you said, I observed earlier, Newman's archives appear to contain no information concerning the final days. Coupled with what Flora and Alizé learned at the last stand, we can be reasonably sure that most Charlians know nothing of that particular period of ancient history. Yet my father and his colleagues are not only familiar with the final days, but are also somehow certain that the destruction being perpetrated by the Telophoroi is wholly unlike these apocalyptic events. Moreover, the Forum claims to be so occupied by a duty of such pressing importance that they saw fit to unanimously deny Eorzea's request for aid. 
Now the Gleaners, official agents of the states, have been mobilized in an unprecedented scale. Uh, I do not think it is stretched to conclude that the Gleaners' recent activities are in service to the Forum's secretive ends. In which case, our next course of action seems obvious. We visit Labyrinthos and assess the situation for ourselves. And if we're lucky, the Gleaners will be far more receptive to our questions. Let's go! Yeah! I kill them! I kill the boxes! I'm glad you approve. You won't be disappointed, I promise. As for myself, there are a few more subjects I should like to research. I may join you later, but feel free to leave behind your borrowed books and be on your way. I'll see to it that each is returned to its proper place. That would be a great help. Thank you, Raha. Alright! Let's head down the stairs over there, and I'll show you where the entrance is. Is this a donga? You donga. Oh, no, I'm not boosting anyway. Yeah, you don't need to worry about that. I know, like, to, like I have weird daytimes, right? So, and my family's not here. So, like, today, I have rehearsal in about ten minutes. I have to get rehearsal ready. I'm doing the opening show for the race world first, but then I'm free all, all night, I believe. I think I'm free from, like, four o'clock onwards. So we can come and do some alt stuff then. So we save Edward for the mainstream. Ready? Labyrinthos is not too far from here. But you may find the path a bit disorientating. Uh, the race will first, as far as I know, unless it's changed. Let me check, because I might be full of shit. Uh, I don't want to be... Uh, Echo. Casters. It should be at 3.30 today, Euro time. So, I have to do a speech, I think. <laughs> so, it's in like an hour and a half-ish. I need to go put pants on. I can't open the show with my Godfather t-shirt and my shorts on. I'll take the lead, so stay close. Yeah, I'll be on the Echo Esports channel, I believe. Go faster? <clears throat> this is the race to world first. You're watching it live. The fuck? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Where's my events tab? There is. Oh, oh, it's not in the events tab. Boy. I almost guarantee they've not changed the dungeon format for. Uh... Oh. Up here. I didn't skip dialogue. She said something like, let's go faster or something like that. Rostra. Not far now. Okay, I have that. Wait, 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 wait. Alize? No, I'm the slow one? This makes no sense. Here we are. Through this door and down the stairs. You did remember to attune to the shard back there, didn't you? It'll make your life much easier if you need to come back in a hurry. Otherwise, we should keep moving. Okay. Feels like we're being naughty. There's no guards, though. I'm the last to arrive, I see. 
We're all here now, yes? I've taken the liberty of securing permission for our group's descent. Right, everyone to the lift and down we go. Oh, we've got permission, we're fine. We're totally fine to be here. Deep beneath the scholar's city shines a false sun within a fabricated sky. Wow! In any age exist those who consider the floor an extension of their bookshelves. And this vault's architects surely belonged to that special breed. Is this a different zone beneath the, beneath the city? If the stack grows too high, start a new one. If no room remains, then make more rooms. A simple solution at first, and then bit by bit, a profound transformation. They built a city under Charlian? For storage? Knowledge. Buried beneath knowledge, a growing, creeping labyrinth from which there That's is crazy! No what a great idea! Expected. I must admit, the artifice is very convincing. But I assure you that we are beneath Charlian itself. The breeze you feel, the flowing waters you hear, all created by the hand of man. The island is volcanic, you see. And once upon a time, this great hollow must have been a reservoir for magma. Uh-huh. And it just went away? It was discovered some 400 years ago, at which point it was repurposed as a storage facility for scrolls and samples and such. Renovations have continued, with nigh on no interruption to this day, with the lower levels still undergoing expansion. You're still digging. Right. Aren't those people gleaners? Aye, judging by their dress. They are said to work alone as a rule, but would seem that rule is being enthusiastically broken today. It may be as you suspected, that they are engaged in a task apart from the norm. Let's spread out and get some answers then. Oh, poor little Kryle's little legs. Ugh. Oh, not again. Throw wide the gates. No, no. Did you call to me just now? No. How odd. I must be a bit dizzy from the descent. Mm-hmm. I'll be fine, I'm sure. Let's get to work, shall we? Worst liar, I know. <laughs> Absolute worst liar. I cannot believe they. One of the zones is just an entire city under Charlie and Charlie and two. Wow. How big is this area? Holy fuck. That is so cool. They gave it a. Yeah, it's huge. They gave it a fake sky. This is a big storage locker. You can mount here. Oh, yeah. Have we got a... Um, um, wait, 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 wait. Get our ether It's better during the day. Well, we will test it. Right, I need to go for rehearsals. Um, I'm going to be on... I'm going to be opening the Race to World first in about an hour and a half, I think. In about an hour and a half, I will be opening the uh, Echo's Race to World first. It's going to be awesome. 
Uh, but after that, I think I'm pretty free. So I'll probably come and stream again after I've had dinner with the boys and whatnot, unless there's something I need to do. Uh, but I'll let you know. But it should be good. I can do some leveling and stuff. I won't do Endwalker Story until mainstream. All right? I promise you that. I won't do that to then. Yeah, it'll be all leveling and stuff like that. So don't worry. You won't miss any Endwalker or anything along those lines. It'll be fine. So be good. Uh, who's on? Uh, I mean, really, dee, dee, dee. Yeah, it'd be really cool if you guys could come and see the opening. It should be in about an hour and a half, I think, unless it gets cancelled, which they were talking about yesterday because they're still setting up audio and whatnot uh, and doing all that kind of stuff. Oh, it looks like mm, they're not streaming. Uh, it will be at Echo Esports, which isn't live now. So it will be, I think it's Echo underscore Esports. Yeah, thank you, boy. Good start. I will tweet out. Yes, I will tweet out. Uh, who can we host? I can go say hi to Manny. That's fine. She's just died. Soviet Womble? Approved. Yeah, let's go say hi to Manny. That's fine. All right, dudes. I will see you, hopefully, some of you in an hour and a half. I hope I don't fuck up this speech. <laughs> hopefully, I don't completely wreck this speech that I have to do. Assuming I have to do one. We'll see. Otherwise, it's going to be a lot of fun.